Hello ladies and gentlemen, MD Fashion Co. Collectibles here and today I'm going to talk about the latest patch notes on Aliens Fireteam Elite. Do it get spicy? Does things get nerfed? What's good? What ain't? I'm going to get into it. But first, roll the He had a dream to play Aliens Fireteam. He collects themes. He's got high self-esteem, he's credible, he's unforgettable, he's commendable, he's MD Fashion Co. Collectibles, okay? Alright, so let's start with the weapons. Am I seeing anything here which, which uh, nerfs the pump shotgun, the best gun in the game? As I said, I don't want it to be nerfed. I love the pump shotgun. Fix an issue where gun post for... No, fix a bug. Yeah, this seem, seems to be just bugs. The perks and attachments associated with firing burst weapons will now trigger with their first shot. That seems good. I don't know why it didn't do that al already. Excuse me. Fix the fire rate display for burst weapon. Yep. Oh, the M4183 bur burst rifle. Fix a bug that caused the four-star perk to decrease stability. Yeah, see, these are just bugs here. These are all bugs. So I think, you know, Cold Iron is pretty happy with the weapons in the game, or at least they don't want to screw it up because the pump shotgun is the best gun in the game. Holstered guns are now visible when switching. Yeah, this is just some animation bugs. Yeah, honestly, this this uh, this thing just looks like a bunch of bugs. This is a good one. Players now receive a message to alert them when a vulnerability assessment drone is already in use by another team member. That's good. So we don't have to keep trying. Moss textures. This is a good one because we all know that Point Defense had their moss textures going crazy. Okay, this is this is actually a buff to the de demolisher because I already thought it did. I already thought Fire and Forget did increase the area of effect damage. Now the area of effect damage is going to be massive. So demolisher did get a buff there. Doc, fixed a bug where players wouldn't, yep, fixed a bug. This is a huge buff. This is a huge buff to the gunner, the best class in the game. This is a huge buff because the mobility perk now properly increases the duration of stay on target as a pass, as a, as a passive ability. So now stay on target actually works and it's going to increase the duration. I thought it already did, but since they, they just fixed that, the gunner got a massive buff here. Massive buff for the gunner. The gunner, the short control burst and let's rock now properly apply to the first shot of each burst. Okay, so so short control burst and let's rock actually work now. So we'll see. We'll test it out to see if it's actually good because we know that it's good with the grupper, right? That combo, you use the grupper and then you switch to the shotgun with high accuracy. So that might be good. So I'd say, honestly, the gunner got a massive buff on this recon class all right recon got a nerf the recon class will no longer be able to fire their weapon when placing a support drone it will need to let go and repress the input to fire again yeah so i was this is what i was doing as the recon i was dropping the ammo and then instantly shooting like interrupting the animation so the recon got a nerf and yeah so gunner got a buff recon got a nerf so i think that's pretty Pretty even then because gonna gonna recon. The eye on the prize perk now provides 50. Okay, that's fine. So, so here's the technician. This is what boys in the Discord join the Discord down below. This is what they were talking about. Fixed an issue with charge coils that allowed it to recharge in half the time. It caused the UI recharge timer to become out of sync. Fixed a bug where the charge coils area of effect would not trigger the disruptive technology perk. Okay, these these are just bugs that you know make make the tech better. I guess the tech, um, I guess the tech got a buff from that because now it now it works properly. And then for the UI, ooh, added a message to spectator mode. I didn't even know there was a spectator mode. I think they just meant spectator. I think just spectator because um, from the other teammate. Yeah, and the rest of this. 
Yo, this is a good one. Wow, I made a video about this. Fixed a bug where a Xeno would sometimes get stuck in the ceiling during Wave 9 in Horde mode. The funny thing is, I made a video about that saying that needed to be fixed, so maybe they were listening to me there. But that's just a quality of life thing. That had to be... It had to be fixed. This is cool. This is good too. Players now start with thumbs up, point, and no way emotes. Okay, well, I think... Oh, this is cool. Maintenance that are in the docks will now spawn at the appropriate difficulty level. Great. All right, well, overall, it's a positive uh, update. The gunner got a massive buff. I'm not mad at that because I love playing the gunner, but the gunner's got a huge buff, and all they did was just make the things that they gave the gunner already work properly. So let me know in the comments what you think in the description. So demo, gunner got a buff. Everything else I think is pretty pretty standard. No, Nothing really changing here. Let me know in the comments what y'all boys think. Pro play in Aliens Fire Team Elite. I'ma see y'all boys later. Bye. All y'all turn up right now. If you join the Patreon for $2.50 a month, you get a shout out on the videos and get to go to the Discord channel with the pros. Boys can't comment in or can't chat in unless they part of the patreon thing so look down below for the link and tell me what you think boy